Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Alright guys, so I recently did a little poll on our community page and you ask, I deliver. We're doing fragrance wardrobe right now and I've been through a few um, YouTubers videos that already did this tag just to get to know the questions and the perfumes uh, that are being shown and honestly um, each for their own because I found many different um, categories that they put out there so I'm just gonna try and do it as uh, versatile as possible so yeah let's just jump right in this is basically a perfume wardrobe which means uh, any occasion that you can find yourself in you're gonna need a perfume for so let's just start so uh, I have the most basic questions right here on my phone so let's start with a hot day so a hot day I assume this is referring to a hot summer time so it would be uh, both beach and city I guess so something quite versatile for a hot day in, ver in general so I think my favorite pick because that would suit beach vacation and going out and about in the city as well during summertime would be Chanel Chanteau Fresh hands down you know I love the scent and I know so many of you uh, love the range as well so this one is amazing it's just a strong woody citrus fragrance with a little bit of sweetness in it um, it lasts for hours that's why I can always be sure that it's just a great way to go it's a no-brainer for me so yeah Chanel Chance of Fresh would be my hot day fragrance all right now we need to move on to summer night so with summer night I would um, put it as like summer party or going out a, during a summer night you know so there might be a little dancing involved outside or maybe you're going to some concert because you know summer is all about concerts outside right and some festivals as well uh, so you know I just wanted to have a nice all-rounder that would be perfect for a summer night date summer night dinner and also some more fun events and definitely my favorite choice when it comes to that would be Olympia Intense and I've already said that a few times on my channel but if you uh, were thinking about getting a flanker of original Olympia I would totally go for this one because it's way way different than the original Olympia for sure it's way more vanilla it's way more ambery and it's way more warm so the lasting power is amazing on it it's a very very sweet scent but the amber note that's in it makes it a lot more sophisticated and a lot more oriental uh, than it would be if it was you know just your typical sweet vanilla it's a very interesting fragrance I love wearing it in summertime it's very potent but it's just you know it's a little bit beachy I just love Olympia range in general you know that probably already and this one is no exception so that would be my perfect summer night fragrance Olympia intense okay uh, since we've been through summer now the next questions refer to winter so uh, winter cold day fragrance for me that would be definitely definitely Hypnotic Poison by Dior. I love this for winter. To me, this is such a cozy fragrance. Uh, to me, it's a typical sweater weather with a little bit of sexiness as well. It's a gorgeous oriental vanilla. I just love it. It's it's just, it screams winter cozy. Oh, amazing. Yeah, just gorgeous. Uh, I know it, it has like a little bit of a cake vibe to it when it comes to the sweetness but to me it's mostly a gorgeous burnt almond uh, with some vanilla 
I just love this scent, the lasting power is amazing even though this is just the uh, eau de toilette version. If you don't have it already, check it out. I know I put it to trash in my last video. Uh, don't worry, I still am grieving after that. If you haven't watched it already, uh, go ahead and watch my um, 10 fragrances for life. It was quite fun. Uh, yeah, but this one definitely stays in this list. I absolutely love it for winter. This is my perfect winter fragrance. So yeah, uh, Dior Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette. Okay, and now we have Cold Night Fragrance. And I've been thinking about it for a while, to be honest, because first I wanted to put Hypnotic Poison for the night time, but then I thought to me it's too like sweatery and cozy to, uh, you know, to just be typical night fragrance. I love wearing it during a day, so it was like, you know, I was quite, on the fence with this one. So I picked something else for the night time. So this one is also vanilla, but why it landed on the night spot is because it, it's more incense-y, it's even more oriental, it's very interesting but still very very sweet which is gorgeous for winter. So this one is Alien Essence Absolue and I adore this one guys, I just adore it. I know it's very hard to find right now, however actually where I live it's quite easy, I'll be honest with you. Of course when I find some international links I'll as usual link them down below. Uh, however this one nevertheless it will be forever in my collection as long as I can get it and to me this is a perfect perfect winter evening or autumn evening, whatever the weather's called that fragrance so as I said it has a little bit of this alien original vibe of course um, it's just a flanker so you know uh, but the vanilla in here is very very potent to me it also has a little cinnamon touch even though there's no such note in here but you know the the blend of it all makes it feel like it's a little bit cinnamony uh, at least on my skin at the beginning uh, but then you get those uh, incense and strong vanilla as well so that's my winter night okay what else do we have let me check the list now all right so we've got hot day hot night cold day cold night then we have classy formal so um you know it it's not very hard for me to choose something like this because it's something that i need to wear most of the time in my life and my perfect classy formal is definitely valentino donna because it's the classiest leather rose that you can get in a fragrance it's very very feminine it's a little bit powdery to me it's a very mature fragrance for sure uh, it's not a teenager scent even though the color of the liquid might say otherwise to me it's a very very mature fragrance uh, it's not too sexy that's why to me it's a perfect formal fragrance uh, it can be considered sexy, but I think we have sexier options here, so... This one is my perfect formal fragrance, which is a gold all-rounder because uh, I can use it during the summertime and wintertime because it's a little bit warm, a little bit rosy, so you know, it's a good all-rounder for a formal event. And yeah, so this one is basically a rose, iris, leather and vanilla. It's not too sweet, it's not too overwhelming, but it still lasts for a long time. That's why I absolutely love wearing it, because I can be sure that this will last on me enough. So Valentino Donna would be my uh, classy formal fragrance. Okay, next. Date night. My date night fragrance is a new purchase of mine and I instantly knew that would be a per perfect spot for it in this video. So I listened to you again and I actually purchased a fragrance from your recommendations which I thank you so much for 
and guys I love it this is a fragrance that um, I didn't love in the past but I think it's mainly because I was simply too young for it and I just needed something a little bit sweeter a little not like not as mature but to me it's very sophisticated but mature sexiness this is sexy 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 but in the most classy way to me so this is Dior Addict or the Parfum and this is the 2014 version I know that the previous versions were amazing as well unfortunately I could not get my hands on them um, maybe in the future I'll find one but for now we gonna we're gonna deal with 2014 which is brilliant as well so this is basically vanilla jasmine fragrance it's amazing it's a little bit powdery again but in a very very sexy way so yeah it has some sweetness to it you can definitely smell the white flowers uh, it it is that indolic jasmine um, that you get in an alien if you know what I mean it is like very very strong white floral a lit little bit animalic um, then it gets very powdery and vanilla this is a great combination it's quite loud it definitely leaves a trail so yeah oh by the way uh, in my last video I said it leaves a tail when I was referring to a ciliage <laughs> I just need to explain that in my um, mother language we say it leaves a tail, you know? So I was just um, translating my thoughts into English as I was talking and it was, that was just so natural to, for me to say it leaves a tail, but no, it leaves a trail. So the ciliage is amazing on this. Uh, I think men absolutely love it because as soon as my uh, partner smelled it he was like yes yes this is it so definitely a mature one but super super sexy and for a sophisticated date is a way to go if you're going for a dinner in a fancy restaurant that's definitely a way to go so that's your addict as my sexy sophisticated date fragrance now um, there's also a intimate Netflix and chill category to put out and I chose something that I don't think um, many people show on their channels if they're doing perfume videos and I absolutely love it but again it's quite mature you really have to appreciate the fragrance to love it so it is quite an oriental take on a cozy intimate fragrance and this is Hermes L'Ombre de Merveille it's also new to my collection and this is to me a cuddly uh, Netflix and chill kind of fragrance because it's very very sensual it has vanilla in here it's also uh, amber based fragrance it has some labdanum in it so it's just perfection when it comes to um, the notes it's quite oriental I must say you you can only uh, love it if you love oriental scents in general uh, but the vanilla picks through a lot it's very sweet it's very ambery and a little bit spicy you can definitely sense this oriental hue to it it's very long lasting but what is important it's not too much like it, it, the projection it's not too much in your face so it's perfect for those you know very close encounters and in my opinion it's super super sexy because this um, smells like a warm women's skin if you know what I mean this is a very um, to me this is a scent of a woman you know yeah definitely it, it has a little bit of spiciness it goes away after a while and then you get this strong amber vanilla uh, with some oriental hue to it because of the labdanum I guess very very good scent for close encounters 
uh, I think anyone who's very close to you will surely, surely appreciate it. So that's Hermès L'Ombre de Merveille. I love it for close encounters. Yup. Okay. Now the next one, I guess it's a party scent. Yep. Okay, so a party fragrance that I think most people will absolutely love for clubbing uh, would be Ellie Sub Girl of Now. Because to me, a clubbing fragrance has to be very versatile when it comes to seasons. So it doesn't matter if it's uh, winter or summer, a clubbing fragrance is a clubbing fragrance, if you know what I mean. It has to be loud, sexy, long lasting, and crowd pleasing. You know, that's what you want from a clubbing fragrance in general. And this one is amazing because it's a nutty based sweetness. Absolutely love it. Again, it's a oriental floral and it has some um, jasmine notes in here, you know, it's a little bit lifted up at the beginning, but then you get a very, very strong sweetness with some pistachio notes, loads of tonka. I think they just put a ton of tonka in here to make it as much crowd pleasing as possible. Nevertheless, I, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing in this particular case because they, they did it well. It's a perfect clubbing fragrance to be honest. I really really like it and I think it would be great no matter the season when you're just going to a club to have a good party and have fun. To me it's a great fragrance for that. So that's my party slash clubbing fragrance. And then we have another category which is work slash professional so it's a very good distinction between formal event and work slash professional because it's not really uh, the same fragrance that you would use would it maybe sometimes but you know what I mean for work you definitely need something that's um, not in your face would not be annoying to anybody uh, but still would make you feel nice and fresh throughout the day uh, you know you don't you don't really want something that is too much that will just annoy you as well so my work professional option would be actually Ellie Flora Futura because I was like actually why not this is a perfect work fragrance because it doesn't have too much alien in here to be honest it's very floral to me very very floral uh, it has a little bit of green notes and it's also amber uh, in the dry down to be honest um, the dry down is my favorite part of this fragrance uh, nevertheless it's very good I think it's very very likable and many people would absolutely love it for a good fresh daytime fragrance so yeah this would be my work option definitely yep okay now I have to choose two more occasions perfumes for two more occasions and the first one would be the most versatile so it's quite hard to pick something that's most versatile because there are many perfumes that you can uh, wear throughout the year and also it's hard to distinguish because we all have different tastes right but to me something that's the most versatile uh, is definitely poison girl by dior i love it i um i know it's a great party fragrance i know it's great for a night out uh, Netflix and chill, sure, why not as well? Um, dates, um, maybe not as much for work, especially if it would be like, you know, a s small environment, small building or something, but nevertheless, I think it's very versatile. If I wouldn't overspray it, I think I would totally pull it off for work as well. It's also great for summertime for me, to be honest. I love it during the summertime. Uh, it's very balsamic, it has rose in here, it also has almonds and strong vanilla notes and also some tonka. It's, it's just amazing to me. It's a nice, a little bit lifted up, but still very oriental take on hypnotic poison. So I think that's that's just a good all rounder because you know if um, if anything you get the rose which is 
quite fresh in here and then you get nice warm and cozy and oriental balsamic notes from the vanilla, from the tonka, uh, from the almonds. So to me it's a great versatile fragrance and I would also say it's a great signature fragrance. And um, before I met Olympia, that was my signature fragrance, definitely. Speaking of, definitely, I'm gonna cheat here a little bit because it's a wide category, okay? Uh, another super versatile fragrance is Olympia by Paco Rabanne, which is also my perfect signature because it's perfect for summer, for winter, for day, for night. I just absolutely love this one. You know it, guys, already. Uh, I was very hesitant to put it in another video, but you know, it's it's what we do here, right? We just go with our favorites. And um, I hope you try it, and if you do, let me know how you like it. And the most versatile fragrance, for sure, and this is like the most safe option from all of these would be Guerlain Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum. It's classy, perfect for form formal events. I This is actually my third bottle and I've, I usually would wear it for formal events. Uh, it's perfect for date night, for nights out, for summertime as well, even though it has a little bit of the powderiness. Um, the lavender actually makes it a little bit more um, fresh, so to say. So that's a perfect Oranda. Yeah, so basically I combined two categories, versatile slash signature. <laughs> but you know, that's what a signature scent has to be. It has to be quite versatile. So that would be the safest option when it comes to being versatile and a signature scent. Because it's beautiful, it's it's cozy, it's very feminine, uh, it's quite sexy to me, but in a very classy way. Um, it's perfect for any occasion, to be honest, like dinner with parents, uh, going to a party. Um, you know, you you cannot go wrong with this one. So basically, it's a it's a vanilla um, with some lavender, also some jasmine in here. A little bit of tonka very very nice fragrance I really really like it very classy one yeah so that's one girl and when it comes to versatile slash signature fragrance the one that I would definitely choose for myself would be Olympia because you know I love it uh, nevertheless I gave you some options in the last category um, mainly because you know we all have different tastes so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below uh, and tell me what is your most favorite fragrance, how you would put up your fragrance wardrobe and if there's anything you like from here, also let me know, I would love to hear it from you. So thank you guys once again for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and see you guys in the next one. Bye!